Let's prove the identity. Sine 3x over sine x plus cosine 3x over cosine x is equal to 4 cosine 2x. Notice on the left side we have two fractions, so why don't we combine them? We'll do that by multiplying the first fraction by cosine over cosine, the second fraction by sine over sine. So we're going to have sine 3x cosine x plus cosine 3x sine x. And then the numerator, or the denominator will be cosine x sine x. And now notice the numerator is just sine 3x plus x. Okay, because when you have sine of a plus b, that's sine a cosine b plus cosine a sine b. So clearly, if you map this, so you look at sine 3x sine a, cosine x cosine b, cosine 3x cosine a, sine x sine b. So a is equal to 3x, b is equal to x, and then the denominator we have um, cosine x sine x. So one thing to note, sine 2x is 2 sine x cosine x. So if I divide both sides by 2, I have 1 half sine 2x equals sine x cosine x, which is also equal to cosine x sine x. So this will just be 1 half sine 2x. Okay. Now, 3x plus x is 4x, and then we're dividing by 1 half, which is the same thing as multiplying by 2. And then in the uh, denominator, we have sine 2x. At this point, we're using the double angle identity again. So sine 4x, think of that as sine of 2 times 2x, which is 2 sine 2x cosine 2x. So we'll have the 2 factored, and then sine 4x is 2 sine 2x cosine 2x all over sine 2x. So we can cancel out the sine 2x's and then multiply the 2. So 2 times 2 is 4. And then we have cosine 2x left. And so this completes the proof.